Staying with NFA-related matters, the Namibia football bosses also decided to instruct their lawyers to demand the money owed to them by the Namibia Premier League after several unsuccessful attempts in court. The Namibian Premier League has failed in both the High Court and the Supreme Court to get their suspension overturned. The unsuccessful attempts came with a legal cost that the league now owes the mother body. The new NFA ESCO has decided that the suspended member should finally pay up. We have endorsed the decision and decided that uh, we have to tax or uh, instruct our lawyers to tax the bills and the costs that have been awarded in favor of the NFA for both the High Court and the Supreme Court cases and recover uh, these fees. According to Haikali, the money owed to the association by the NPL amounts to 780,000 Namibia dollars. Concerning their suspended member NPL, the meeting vote to let the Court of Arbitration for Sports conclude before they can decide on the future of their member. We can assure the nation and all the stakeholders that uh, our lawyers are doing a good job to represent the uh, NFA in terms of those cases. On the Young African versus NPL matter, the football bosses want the case to be concluded in the next month before the anticipated countrywide player registration process that will start in July this year. For NBC Sports News, I'm Chester Wamunika, Venduk.